I get asked a lot about my horror film recommendations this time of year. Anyone that knows me would tell you I love horror. My bookshelves are full of ghost stories from around the world, collections of pulp and horror film posters, antique books on witchcraft and demonology, and many books about the psychology of terror and the fears that drive our fascination for darker entertainment. I've even worked crew on some low-budget horror movies with local filmmakers Black Fawn, going so far as to appear as a masked cultist in The Heretics. But I wasn't always this thrilled by the macabre. As related in my very first comic series, Sin, our horror-obsessed babysitter exposed me to the legendarily bloody Hammer Films version of Count Dracula well before I was ready for it. I reportedly hallucinated Christopher Lee for nights afterwards refusing to sleep. The same babysitter gave me a stack of those gruesome black and white 70s horror comic magazines that I promptly hid under my bed, too terrified to look at them. But gateway horror like my beloved Hilarious House of Frankenstein helped me not only overcome my terrors, but embrace them. Maybe if I befriended the monsters, they would take it easy on me. It wasn't long before I was a full-blown monster kid, challenging myself to the darker edges of the horror genre in all of its forms. I believe horror can be cathartic. I also believe horror, more than any other genre of fiction, most honestly exposes the truth of a society. My new project, Dwellings, is a little slice of that gruesome truth.